Hussain Abdullah, ADHRB. I would like to thank the High Commissioner for uh, this uh, occasion. Uh, I would like quickly to raise two questions. Uh, you raised the issue of reprisal in your introductory remarks, which is a, a, a repeated issue. We see it every single council. Uh, I'm here speci specifically talking about the GC, uh, human rights defenders who come from the GCC, whether it's Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, or other countries. Uh, for example, in this, in this session, we have filed a complaint with your, with your office. We have filed a complaint with the presidency, with the special procedure. As we speak, we have human rights defenders in the council, their family in Bahrain, been interrogated, arrested, going through a hard time, and, and those who are here going back to Bahrain, you know, we, we really don't know what will, what will be happening to them. So you said there'll be an official coming tomorrow, Mr. Gilmore. Uh, most certainly not all of us here will be able to meet him or, or, or hear him. Uh, would you quickly, or in a summary, uh, tell us what kind of steps do we expect from this uh, new position, if it is new, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? And and what what could be done from your office when when it comes to you hear a consistent report from a country or a group of countries in this uh, example, the GCC, uh, 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 intimidate human rights defenders where. One day we're, we're fearful that we might not see any HRD, any human rights defenders coming from Bahrain or coming from Saudi Arabia or Kuwait. The second question is, uh, we're, we're realizing a, a very disturbing trend in the Human Rights Council where uh, uh, members of the council uh, either dilute or weaken multinational, multilateral efforts in the council. And, and, and specifically here, there was a, a proposed joint uh, uh, statement on Bahrain. Uh, because of actions for uh, a specific country like UK, this, this uh, uh, effort was basically uh, 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 failed at the end. And, and in general, uh, have your office addressed such behavior by these states or other states, whether in the past, or do you have any plan addressing them uh, uh, in the future? Finally, I would like to thank you and thank your office, uh, you know, knowing very well the tough job you have you, you know, you and your office have been doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank all the colleagues who have taken uh, the, f the floor. And uh, let me uh, uh, begin by uh, a point raised by uh, a friend and colleague, Hussain Abdullah. Uh, when I spoke earlier of why it is or why I think the system is under great pressure, it's really the point that you were raising that we make continuous requests, we make assertions, recommendations to the Human Rights Council, and we don't find that there is any response or not the response that we want. Now, on the situation in Rakhine, we had, I was very clear that I wanted, at, at the very minimum, a commission of inquiry. And I understand that uh, the member states are looking at various drafts, but they're not thinking of a commission of inquiry. And we've seen this time and time again. And uh, the comments that we make in our statement, you would think that there would be follow-up, and there is no follow-up. And I think this is an example of why it is that we are under extreme pressure. The, the human rights movement, you know, if we say that the population of the planet is six billion or so people, the human rights movement, how many? A few hundred thousand of us, maybe, a few hundred, a small minority, but we serve and represent a, a large portion of humanity. But we, we need to work together, and I can't tell you how grateful I am when Hussain Abdullah basically said that he thinks we're doing a good job. Because I'll be frank, I mean, in two years I've never heard anyone say that to me from the NGO community. <laughs> When I, when I went to see uh, Pope Francis II, and I said this in a speech not long ago in Washington, and I sat in front of the Pope, and I said to him, I forgot my notes, and I said, uh, Your Holiness, everyone comes to me to complain, and I have no one to go to complain to, so today I'm coming to complain to you. <laughs> so he looked at me and he said, Who do you think I have to complain to? <laughs> We are, we are under huge pressure. 
I wish, I wish the, the, the members of the Human Rights Council and the member states could act more responsibly. You know, there are people at the end who are suffering greatly. And we don't make recommendations lightly or we don't make it that because one day we wake up and feel like saying something. And, uh, and uh, it's very frustrating. And I, I think we all feel it on our side. Uh, when you have uh, accusations and they say, well, OHCHR is, is biased. Okay, then allow special procedures in. Okay, well, you've accepted recommendations under UPR. Implement the recommendations. Allow others in. Allow journalists in. Allow people to see. It's a, it's a very difficult time. Uh, and uh, we need you more than I think we've ever needed you before. And I hope you need us as well. Um, and that's how I hope we can work uh, in the next year especially um, coming. Uh, Hussain Abdullah, I, on your point on, uh, on the pressures that you face, it's true. I mean, I, I often hear what happens to uh, members of civil society after the session is over almost. I hear that during the session there was this or that happening, death threats sometimes, uh, you know, uh, intimidation, abuse, but it comes late. And so how we hear this right away so we can act uh, on it, I think, is important. And that's the idea of having a focal point. Was, it's an old idea. The member states were not willing to, to do anything about it, so the Secretary General appointed uh, Andrew Gilmore. Uh, and uh, he'll be here for the rest of the session. I, I we're going to ask for him to mingle and mix with all of you, so please feel free to bring to his attention uh, uh, any such uh, uh, um, views, and we will do our, as best a, a job as we can.